Hey there keepers. So I want to do something a little bit different today, but before we get into that, first of all, I have to say, wow, thank you. That's right. Thank you to all my subscribers. We hit a thousand subscribers over the weekend. It is, uh, I, I, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I was so happy when I hit 500 subscribers and here we are not even a month later and we're at a thousand subscribers and I have you to thank for it. I appreciate each and every one of you who take the time to watch my videos, to comment, to send me things in the mail. It is absolutely amazing to know that so many people are interested in what I do. This is just my job. This is what I do every day. And people find it, uh, people find it amazing, find it fascinating. It is great to know that there are still lighthouses that are in operation and even stations such as our own are something that is a huge part of our history and to see that Canada is keeping that history alive by maintaining stations with lighthouse keepers is an amazing thing. I hope that you keep watching as I continue to grow and as I move forward with my job and my career and move into uh, possibly becoming a principal keeper maybe here at Boat Bluff or maybe somewhere else. Who knows? Once my family joins me and everything moves forward there, well, there's a lot more to see. So uh, thank you so much for subscribing. Tell your friends, share my videos, and we'll grow even more. So that being said, today I want to try something a little bit different. And um, so I don't know about you, you can let me know in the comments below. Are you a seafood eater? I generally am not. I don't eat a lot of fish. I don't eat a lot of seafood. And I've, even though I've lived in Vancouver almost all my life and I'm around seafood on a regular basis, it's not something that I eat regularly. Yet, there are a lot of people who really enjoy seafood. So being that I live now on the water, I would actually like to try more things like fishing and more seafood and this sort of thing. So one of the things that is available to me is urchin and urchin is a really big thing in places like Japan where they eat it with sushi a lot and whatnot and I have the opportunity that right off our dock we have a large urchin field we have tons of urchin that are there just below the tide line and so what we're gonna do is we're going to at low tide today we're gonna go down to the low tide We'll pick up an urchin, we'll crack it open, and we'll try it absolutely fresh right from the water and see if it's any good. I've never had urchin before, and as I say, I'm not a big seafood eater, so this will be a unique and an interesting opportunity for me to try something new. My name is Spence, and I am a modern day lighthouse keeper. All right, so I'm going to see if I can get this guy here. So this one's not huge. broken. Okay, so let's take a look. So apparently it's this part inside here that you're supposed to eat. So let's see.
So that's just a little piece of it, or that's all of it? Uh, this is just a piece. There's okay. more yeah. you gonna eat it? inside. So yeah, apparently this is the part that you eat. It's the, uh, the gonads. Yeah. <laughs> It's supposed to be sweet, salty, and savory all in one go. Yep. All right, so we'll give this a go. Give it a try. Sure. <laughs> Just slap her in your mouth. I've eaten it. It's not. It's not terrible. Not bad. Wow, that's actually not bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's good. surprisingly better than I anticipated. Right on. And you say the green ones are better? Yeah, I thought the green ones had, like you talked about savory, it had a little more flavor to it, I thought. Well, that definitely has, it has a bit of a, like a seafood aftertaste. Yeah. But your initial, like, bite into it, yeah, you get, it's sweet and salty at the same time. Well, I think what I'll do, I'll grab a couple and I'll I'll try and cook them and see how that goes. Awesome. That's not bad. Now, I have no idea if this is the right way to eat urchin or not, or if it's the right way to cook urchin. Perhaps you can let me know in the comment section below if I did this correctly. Have you had urchin before? Do you eat urchin maybe regularly as sushi or in other meals or whatnot? Apparently it's not a bad meal, has lots of protein in it, and I have lots of urchin available to me, 
at low tide where I can go and pick as many as I feel like eating at any time. If you like what you saw today, hit that subscribe button and the bell notifications so that you're notified when I upload new videos. Thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you next time.